Tony. Neil, how you going? Good, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Now, Tony, you know I... I record these for use on our YouTube channel, these interviews. Do you have a problem with that? No, that's okay, mate. That's Don't okay? Worry. All right, mate, no worries. Thanks for agreeing to have a chat to me. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Rachel put me in touch with you a couple of weeks back because she showed a couple of photos that you'd taken of some unusual-looking ruse. Yeah, I um, and I've, I've talked to her about it for like us. What I saw a number of years ago was uh, definitely not a roo. It was definitely definitely a a, a tiger. Okay. Yep. Um, this look, is back in I reckon it would have been ninety six, ninety seven. Okay. Now this was in South Australia. South Australia near Mount Mary. <laughs> awesome. Out near Tiger Plains. <laughs> heard of it being called Tiger Plains but uh, me and my mate we used to run our dogs out there quite often you know back in the days before you know like you know you know using on goats and even on you know kangaroos and that back in the day you know but uh, sure. you and uh, we were out like we'd go out you know spend a weekend up there and you know sleep on you know camp and that and uh, we've been out all night this morning and we had the dogs in the car and I looked up and I said, what, what's that? And he just looked at me and I looked at him and it was just gone, you know. And we let the dogs out just to see if we could, if they'd, and they couldn't pick up on it or anything. But uh, we didn't even know what we'd seen. Okay. And then it was like a week later, my mate was looking at something in the Sunday Mail and there was an article on uh, on the Tigers and he goes, check out this. And I said, we saw that. And he's like, and it was 100%. You know, if, if it was in today's day and era, we would have had, we might have been able to, you know, grab a photo, you know, but it was, truly was something, you know, like, you know, it wasn't a dog, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything else. I'm, I'm Swear to God, I know what I saw, you know. Unfortunately, I've got no proof of it or anything, but... uh, No, that's fair enough. So you were out on a property out there just shooting a few goats and stuff, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We used to go out there. We used to go out there quite often, you know, like... And actually, we went out there not to... uh, Probably two weeks ago. It really hasn't changed out there. It's still that sort of... Most of it's that barren and dry that... You know, the farmers can't even put sheep on it, if you know what I mean. It's... Yeah, once you get past that um, 250 mil rainfall mark, there's not much you can do with it. There's nothing. You know, there's not even fences up in half of the places where you go. You know, the only only little thing that I think they get any money back from now is trapping the goats. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's a, they're, they're worth more than sheep if you catch them alive, if you round them up. And because there's only a few dams and that out there, they set up the dam, you know, the, the fences around the dams and they, they'll they clear them all out and then they'll leave enough, I suppose, so that they can restock and then they'll do it another couple of years later, you know, like... Yep, just to round them up and, and cull them. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it certainly was something we saw, you know. But I actually had a photo of someone else who had a, who, who, uh, had a property out of Blanchetown took a photo of something that was really interesting but I can't find it now and that was like it looked very different to a, to a normal wild dog I and mean, if you know that area out there at all there's no dogs out there no there's no dogs out there there was there was actually a dingo shot out near Morgan about five years ago oddly enough yeah. I saw an article about it. One one stray dingo is is one stray dingo. They, I mean, sorry, they they have gotten through the fence, and I've seen them in the Flinders Ranges a few times. Um, we we came across one time many years ago. We came across what looked like it would have been a uh, like a, the old staghound, hound type thing that had evolved into a wild dog, and that knew its way to get away from us you know like and moved like moved like a feral animal but that, in all the years that we've went out there that's the only dog we ever saw you know like yeah okay um but where you were in relation to mount mary was it 
was it sort of north of Mount Mary or, or sort of southeast of Mount Mary? Where, which way, roughly? It's in between the Mount Mary pub and and the Blanchetown Road. Okay. It was in between there, and it was there's a there's a big dam not far from the Mount Mary pub. That's uh, but you you got to go down some pretty rough sort of tracks to get to it, and yeah. it was around it there. I it actually. Not on the break of day, and it was only just, it was it was what we saw, you know, like, and then it was gone. Yeah. How far away from you were it when you saw it? Oh, it was, it was you know, from, we were in the car, it would have been 30 foot. Oh, wow, pretty close. It was right there, yeah, it was, it was right there in front of us, it was... Well, mate, you know, well, we both just put, at the time, we didn't even think of, you know, a Tassie tiger, you know, like, yeah, sure. never even crossed our mind, but I know, what it, you know, like, after we saw this, you know, thing the next week, it's, you know, just, well, shit, that's what it was, and uh, I'd say we've been out there many, many more times after that looking, but never, never saw it, you know, never seen any sign or anything of it again, but... Yeah, well, there, there's literally dozens and dozens of sightings between Murray Bridge and there. Well, there's, there's literally thousands of acres that don't get used. Yeah, because it's just salt bush and uh, a bit of wattle. There's not much out there. There's not much out there, so it gives them a great area to, to keep away from people, you know, like... And, uh, you know, and there's, there's plenty enough... Goats, there's millions of kangaroos out there, as you know. That you know, kangaroos are a big, big pest out there. Emus, so there's plenty of tucker for them out there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and, I, I, sorry, go on. And uh, and I suppose sheep as well. As you know, there is some sheep stations, you know, in amongst that sort of wasteland. There's places that are doing sheep still. That, but you know, like. But, you know, either side of them, you know, you've got blocks of 2,000 acres, 3,000 acres that haven't been used for Decades. as long as I've been up there, you know. Yeah, like. yeah. I um, got a mate who, who was the contractor where I used to work back in South Australia and um, started chatting to him and he started talking about his block of Mallee out, out, um, near, out past Mount Mary. And I said, oh, yeah, whereabouts is it? He said, oh, you can go out there and camp whenever you want. He said, it's on Tiger Plains Road. I said, Tiger Plains Road? I said, there's a road out there called Tiger Plains. He said, yeah. So I Googled it. Sure enough, there it was. And then I um, did a little bit more research on the area, and there's actually an old abandoned station. On the southern side of Tiger Plains Road, there was a station called Tiger Plains, right on the edge of the Mallee that's there. Now... I, I I contacted the local council out there for Morgan. I can't remember, Mid-Murray Council or something. Um, yep. And I got on to the local history ladies, and they found the excerpt in a history book that it was called Tiger Plains because apparently in the 1880s, someone shot a tiger out there. That's why it was called Tiger Plains. Well, that, that could be very... yeah. The, the area is perfect for, for yeah. anything. Now, I, I can't imagine it being a Bengal tiger. Uh, no, I, I think <laughs> it's definitely, I definitely guarantee it would be a tiger. Or a... As in a thylacine, yeah. Yeah. They, I mean, but, usually things get called tigers because they have stripes. It's it's that that's the um, sort of the yeah, but, correlation there, you know. If it's got stripes, it's a tiger. And, you know, you've heard about the Tantanula tiger from down the southeast? No, over here? Yeah, South Australia, down Tantanula. No, I haven't actually. No, oh, it's a really famous story from the 1800s, the Tantanula tiger. Lots of people were seeing this thing with stripes, and that's why they called it a tiger. Now, eventually, someone shot a wild dog and claimed to have shot the tiger. Um, and that was it. But there was a lot of people that came forward and said, no, that's not what we saw. The animal we saw had stripes. So it was always sort of mystery not quite solved, so to speak. I mean, I've, I've had dogs all my life, and this animal I saw wasn't a dog. Yeah. Mate, if you, can, if you can find that photo that you've got lying around somewhere, that would be really interesting to see at some point. I'll 
I'll work on it, finding that, and I'll send it through to you. Yeah, but, that'd be good. You know, I went up there last, just the other week, me and my same mate, you know, and it's been, you know, it's been a long while, you know, like, and, uh, gee, it hasn't changed out there at all, eh? Yeah, yeah. When you saw it, did you see stripes as well, or did it was just an unusual-looking four-legged animal? Well, stripes, and, and this tail, you know, that was different to, you know, like, it de- defied it from being a dog, and, you know, like, the whole thing was just so unusual, that's what grabbed us, you know, like, what the fuck was that, and then, yeah, but, and uh, I'll, I'll try and find that photo for you as well, but, yeah, that'd be yeah, great, I, mean, I, I wish it was in today's day and age, because, uh, you know, I may have been lucky enough to have grabbed a photo of it, but, I, like, it was so fast as well, but, there was two of us, and you know, my mate said, "There's no one's going to believe us." There's yeah. No point in telling anyone because who's going to believe you? So was there a bit of scrub around there where you saw it, and it disappeared in the scrub, or it just went out of sight? It's all scrub. Okay. You know? Yep. Yep. Like you could, if you were, if you didn't know your way around there, you could walk. If you were to walk a half a k into it, you could get yourself lost quite easily. Yep, without a compass, you wouldn't know which you direction. Could not walk around the even the old slide. But you know, we went out there the other day, and you know, we just always, yeah, you know, like he said, yeah, you know, wouldn't it be unreal just to see something again? But I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you know, the the area up here that I'm talking about is absolutely, absolutely, you know, there's nothing there. That you, you can go there uh, you could go there a thousand times without seeing anyone yeah yeah it's one of those areas out there um that whole area between the Blanchetown Road and the Morgan Road is just no man's land you know it is it's like there's you know there's open there's you know a couple of park type things there that no one uses but have been open for picnics and that for years that uh, you know like Farmers will put their sheep on there, and you know they'll be they'll be going across the road, and that is that there's that little life there that no one, you know, no one bothers. Yeah, no one bothers. Have you, so you've been hunting a long time, and you do a, a, you've been out bush a fair bit for you know twenty thirty years sort of thing. Yeah, well, you used to go out all the time back then. Yep. Yeah, that was like you know, our, you know, that was as as got older and that you know, obviously things slowed down, kids and whatnot. Yeah, but, yeah, so, sure. Um, I still, I still just enjoy going out there actually, just for the look these days. You know, without even doing any hunting or anything, just to yeah, just to go out there and be in the area. Yeah, you know, we were there the other day. We sort of, you know, there's still still a fair few wild goats around. There was you know kangaroos and emus and. Yeah, it's just a good sort of you know, just a good day out. Absolutely. Um, just a, another side question: Have you come across many mutilated animals in your travels, like with their heads missing and things like that? To be honest with you, no. But you know, like uh, I've definitely come across plenty of plenty of carcasses. Yeah. But uh, you know, I've always thought that more so that's just uh, you, know, you, you always get your blokes who go out just shooting things for nothing, you know, like... Sure, yeah. You know, you get a lot of uh, people shooting wombats and stuff, you know, I suppose it might even be farmers, I don't know, but, you know, things that I wouldn't do, you know, like, but, uh, yeah, you see a bit of that, but... But I've never really seen anything with the... But but one time, not that long ago, we saw a a sheep that got stuck in the... uh, in a dam out there, and it was mutilated up... Okay. It could and have been the, anything, though. That could have been eagles or... Could have been anything, yeah, but... Uh, I don't know, it looked more like, you know, something with a jaw that had been into it. Sure, okay, just from the way it was eaten. Yeah, just... Yep. The way it was ripped up, you know, it was, like, ripped up, but really not even eaten, that was... Oh, uh, okay. We, we actually find, um, all over Australia, really... Um, kangaroos with their heads missing that's that's actually a lot more frequent than you might realize um it's not unusual to find a full-grown western gray kangaroo with its head completely torn off um usually the lungs are missing as well so they they remove the head and then they take the lungs out through the neck cavity the soft the soft yeah they want that high blood content they're a blood feeder thylacines um 
And we've never, ever found one with a gunshot wound. Like, never. They've always been attacked by some sort of predator, without a doubt. So... You know, I'll um, keep an eye out for that. And, uh... Yeah, you'll, you'll find it. If you're driving around in those sort of areas, you'll find it. We find it, you know, up around Mount Crawford, Mount Barker, um, you know, Kaipo Forest that's been found up through there. We get it down toward, even towards Aldinga Scrub. Like, there's a lot of roos in Aldinga Scrub, and every now and then one will turn up with its head missing. We've had about six sightings around Aldinga Scrub, so they... Well, they that could well truly on. Now that, now that you've uh, said it, I'll keep an eye out for that. And uh, Yeah, let us know. If you, if you see anything unusual, mate, grab a photo and flick it through. No worries, yeah. Excellent. All right, Tony, well, thanks very much for your time, mate. I appreciate that. No worries, mate. I'll talk to you later. All right. Cheers, buddy. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.